I'd first like to st uh, start off here and my commiseration to anyone that has lost their life on the road. But when you want to make, and to their families, but if you want to make laws, you have to use all the information that is given to you and you don't bury it. Transport, inf for Transport Infrastructure Ireland have stats which you didn't listen to. You want to reduce speed limits in areas without using the proper stats. That's what you're doing, Minister. You're reducing speed limits. We have what we call black spots in this, area, in this country where accidents, and there's a reported accidents on certain areas on certain roads. And there's been nothing done to improve those sections. We are a sign put up, accident black spot. We have a lack of policing on our roads due to a commissioner and a minister not listening to 97.8% of the Gardaí that police this country. That's a stat that you should be listening to. Another stat, because of lack of guard services, as councillors around this country and myself have asked, in areas where we don't have policing, we've asked for speed ramps in areas in towns and villages where we've no policing because a speed ramp polices itself. It automatically slows people down. That, to me, is common sense. You're bringing in laws that we don't have policing, and I'm asking you to use a small common sense approach. On towns and villages, we put in speed ramps, which police themselves, which automatically slows down traffic, which saves lives. If you also look at the stats from Transport Infrastructure Ireland, and if you look at the stats from all the different road users that are on Transport Network, you would look at one of the highest stats for accidents is caused by fatigue. What are all the signs? Please pull in fatigue. Get a cup of coffee, take a rest if you're driving longer. You're reducing the speed limits for our transport network around this country and your stats are saying fatigue. But do you know that if you're a truck driver, you have a driver's card? and you're only allowed to drive so many hours a day and, so, and you've got to take breaks. Do you realise by reducing the speed limits on roads in Ireland that now you're adding extra trucks on the road for the transport network in this country? You're also adding extra buses on the road. You're also asking people to get out of bed earlier, children that are going to school where there's been no accident reports on these roads you're asking them to get up earlier and a bus driver to drive longer, burning more emissions like you're talking about yourself because the engine has to travel at a certain speed to burn off the carbon within engines. You've no drivers for the trucks, you've no drivers for the buses, but yet, the eject reaction, let's reduce the speed. Go and look at the accident black spots and reduce speed. 100%. Invest in the Gardaí in this country. And listen to the 98% of the Gardaí that voted against the Commissioner and the Minister agreed with them. That is stats and statistics that you are not listening to. Yes, in certain areas in this country we want to reduce speed 100% and I back you on that. But all this uh, 60 here, 80 here, and you haven't looked at There is a motorway there. There's a bluff line down near me and at the mo moment it's an 80 kilometre. If you reduce it to 60, the cyclists that are on the road, the electric scooter cyclists that you're talking about, and the low horsepower ones, you, can also you. do 50 to 60 kilometres an hour. They'll be passed out on the side of the road. Right. You're going to cause carnage, you're going to put everyone together. Look at this realistically. Hit the areas where there is accidents you, and deal with where the accidents are. Not putting in a blanket ban everywhere. Now, can I